How exactly do end curses, screen, termux, etc., hide your command history, and prevent scroll back? So I think termux is the name of a terminal. I think you might mean tmux here. But either way, like, yeah, end curses, screen, etc., they hide your command history. Even Vim does that. Less does that. And they all use the same mechanism. You ready for it? It is a little bit of magic. It's an ANSI escape sequence. It's all it is. That's how you make anything happen. That's how you clear the screen. That's how you move the cursor around. That's how you add colors to your terminal. It's an ANSI escape sequence called the alternate buffer or the alternate screen. There's a sequence to enable the alternate buffer, which brings you into that mode. And then there is a sequence to bring you out of the alternate buffer. You ever been in a weird situation where like less crashed or like something went wrong with Vim and now your terminal's like stuck in that place where it doesn't have the scroll back and you have to type the reset command to get out of it? You probably got yourself into the alternate buffer and you needed to pull yourself out of it. The reset command will do that, but yeah. Um, I have a video, like a long form video on my YouTube. Um, honestly, do what I do. Uh, I go to YouTube and I type in you suck at programming space, the thing I'm looking for, because I can't even keep track of which videos I've made. So if you look up like you suck at programming, alternate buffer or alternate screen, you'll find a video that explains it or just look up that and you'll find so much information on it. But that's how it's done.